Hi everybody, this is Eric from Switched, and today we're going to be adapting the Let's Dance Elmo. Now this toy is a little difficult to adapt, but it is definitely doable. And the biggest issue is that we have to solder directly onto the circuit board, but we'll show you how to do that. It shouldn't be an issue. First we're going to start by removing the six screws on the back of Elmo, and that will remove the back plate. Once the back plate is removed, it will expose a few more screws that we need to remove. One here on the left. The last screw that we need to remove is kind of buried behind these wires. Um, this will allow us to remove Elmo's belly. So now grab Elmo's back plate and we're going to drill our hole for our headphone jack. And we're going to do that between the two anchor points on the right hand side. If your headphone jack isn't already stripped, go ahead and strip down the wires. We want to combine the white and yellow wires and then have the red wires separate. Now we need to fish our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack wires through the back plate. And secure the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with a zip tie. We'll go ahead and cut off the excess and this will keep the wire from accidentally being pulled out. So give it a good test and make sure it's snug. So now on the circuit board we want to remove this button piece here just by pulling it off comes off easily and that will expose where we're going to solder our wires. Now we need to solder one wire to the top of the circle and the other wire to the bottom half of the circle. Now we need to reinstall the back plate and fish our wires so we can get them in place for soldering. And again, you'll need to solder one wire to the top half of this connector piece, being careful not to allow any of your solder to it can touch the other half of that circle. We're going to attach the white and yellow wires. Now is a good time to test your solder points. Go ahead and connect a button and give it a press. And if it works, great, we can reassemble. Secure the belly by reinstalling the two screws that hold it in place, one on the left and that one that was kind of hidden behind the wires. When we're reinstalling the back of Elmo, we want to make sure that we don't pinch any wires. And go ahead and reinstall the six screws that hold on Elmo's back. And that's it, you're all done. Give your button a press and just make sure everything works all right. Switched Adaptive Toys, making play possible. For more information and additional toy manuals, visit us online at www.switchtoys.org.